Hi, and welcome back to Move with Katie. Today we are going to get into a really yummy flow for the hips and shoulders. So let's get started on the center of your mat. Taking a comfortable seat and just taking these few moments of our practice to ground down into the present moment, into the body. Inhaling deeply, filling up the lungs. And as you exhale, maybe you close the eyes. Begin to settle the shoulders down the back body. Maybe slightly tuck the tailbone or pull the core in towards the spine just to give you a little bit of length in the spine. Inhale, filling up the lungs. Exhale, maybe it feels right to bring palms to touch at heart center in that prayer position, that namaskar. And taking a moment to reflect on what it is that you're bringing with you today. Accept whatever and whoever is showing up. Know that it couldn't be any other way. And then take a moment to offer whatever intention it is that you may be needing to move you through this practice and beyond. I'll offer one of flexibility, both in mind and in body. With your next inhale, begin to flutter the eyes open, interlace the fingers, and let's roll out the wrists for just a moment, starting off with some gentle motion here, just beginning to alert the body to the fact that we will be moving. Rolling the wrists in one direction, and then let's switch the direction and roll, it'll feel awkward. The other way always does, unless we practice, and that's why we practice, so that the awkward moments feel easier. And then interlace the fingers, flip them outwards and reach them up towards the sky, shrugging shoulders down the back body, drop the chin, reach the, up through the palm of the hands, feeling a nice little stretch. Inhale here. Exhale, dropping the fingers down by the hips. And then placing the hands either on the hips or maybe on the knees, let's start to just take some circles with the spine. We're just gonna warm up in the spine here. See if you can lead from your core so you're actively engaging belly button when you round the back body and you're engaging the rib cage pulling it in when you lean forward so we're having this really nice tightening of the core here let's switch or switch directions just starting to warm up the core is our central space our stable space and so when we move from that space we're inviting the rest of the body to really become stable and strong and then let's reach the arms wide out to the side and let's pulse the palms backwards, just a few pulses, starting to just notice what is happening in the shoulders. What do you feel there? What's arising? No judgment, just noticing. Just taking a few pulses. And then from here, bringing hands together to one side of the mat and we'll come into a quick tabletop position, but we're not going to stay there. So I'm gonna ask you to tuck on your, onto your toes and bring the toes together and we'll start to warm up the bottoms of the feet. Press the hips backward, almost as if you were going into a child's pose, but not quite. So we're pressing backwards, feeling that opening in the bottoms of the feet. So really beginning to expand in the arch, feeling a nice stretch. We've been walking, running, standing a lot. This is a really nice way to treat your feet. Feels intense, but it's a really good stretch here. And then let's come forward slightly off the toes and set back into your child's pose. Heart melts, forehead melts, sending hips back. If this feels really intense here at the beginning of the practice, place a block under the hips or a bolster under the chest. Find the props and space that makes you feel good in your body. It's the whole point. Inhale, and as you exhale, look forward. Plant the weight into your elbows and forearms. We're going to begin to scoop the heart forward, letting the hips come down, pulling the elbows up, letting the feet do whatever feels right, and we'll meet on our bellies. Inhale here, press the tops of the feet down, actively engage the glutes, lift the heart, pull the elbows back, baby cobra. Exhale, lower. Let's do two more of those. Inhale, lift the heart. 
And maybe you use the hands for support, or maybe here you really ground down into the legs. Inhale, activate the core, and lift the hands. You got it. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift, and exhale. We're going to stay here, and maybe you lift the hands. And then lower all the way down. Take the hands as wide as the mat, and inhale, lift the chest, press up straight and through the arms. Really engage the glutes here. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, engage the glutes. This time, look over left shoulder. Can you catch sight of your toes? Maybe give them a little wiggle. Engage the glutes. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the heart. Let's look over the right shoulder and see if you can catch sight of those right toes. Maybe give them a little wiggle. Stay here, engage the glutes. And then exhale, lower it down. Two more times on each side. Inhale, lift the heart, look over to the left side. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, engage the glutes. See if you can go a little higher. Feel the strength in the fingertips. Look over to the right. Exhale, lower. This time, inhale, lift the heart. Look over the left shoulder. But we're going to pull the left glute in towards the left heel in towards glute. And just hold there. Feel the activation in the hamstring as it pulls that heel in closer. Hold it for three, two, lift the chest a little higher. You got it, lengthen the spine. And then exhale, lower. Last side, inhale, lift. Let's look over the right shoulder. And then using the hamstring, curl the right foot in towards glute. And let's hold it there. Engage the glute, lift the heart, lengthen the spine. You got it. Maybe take a smile. This is fun. And then exhale, roll the heart down. Inhale. From here, let's take one wave, lifting the heart, coming onto the knees from the tailbone, sending the weight back, child's pose. Inhale, look forward, come onto the forearms, pull the weight into the hands, tuck the toes, and come into a chaturanga. Inhale, push the ground away, high plank. We're going to hang out in our high plank here for just a moment, and we're going to start to really build some heat, build some fire. So inhale here. If you need to or want to set your knees down, you're always welcome to. Inhale, lift the right toes. Reach the right toes back. And then as you exhale, bring knee into nose. Keep the high plank pose. Inhale, send the right toes back. Exhale, knee in towards nose. Inhale, lengthen. Three more. Exhale, knee to nose. Lengthen. Actively engage the core. Knee to nose. Lengthen. Last one. Knee to nose. And this time as you lengthen back, press the left heel back. Find the center line of your body. Squeeze everything there. And then tent the left fingertips. Maybe this is as far as we go. Or maybe you play with lifting left hand up off the ground and reaching it in front of you. Inhale long, exhale stay. You got it, squeeze everything to the center line, grip the finger pads of the right hand. Then exhale, lower the right hand, and let's lower both knees down. Inhale, drop the belly, roll the shoulders onto the spine, cow belly breath. Exhale, from the core, puff up the back of the spine, angry cat. Two more rounds of that cat cow. Your breath, inhaling as you drop the belly, exhaling as we round through the back body. Last time. Exhale. Next, inhale, looks forward, tuck the toes. And we're going to come back into that high plank pose. Press the floor away, really feel like your shoulders are rounding so that you're really nice and strong. And then let's lift the left toes up off the earth. You got it. Inhale here. Exhale, knee in towards nose. Inhale, lengthen, heart forward. Exhale, knee towards nose. Three more, lengthen, knee to nose. Lengthen, you got it, knee to nose. Two more, lengthen, knee to nose. And last time, lengthen, knee to nose. This time, send the left toes back. See if you can reach right heel back to find some stability, engage the core and then tent those right fingertips. You got it. Squeeze everything to the center line, grip the left fingers, push the floor away, and see if you can, just light as a feather, reach that left, that right arm up and forward. You got it. 
Exhale, right hand plants, left knee, right knee. Set it back, child's pose. Nice work. Building some heat, starting to warm up. Maybe you take a gentle shift side to side, or you rock your forehead on your mat, giving the forehead a little massage. Mm, feels so good. Inhale, look forward. Come onto the forearms. Roll the chest forward. Peel the elbows up off the floor. Hips come down. Feet do whatever. And then we meet on the belly. Inhale, lift. Cobra pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, tuck the toes up onto the knees or all the way up to a high plank. And then exhale, send the hips back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, step, hop, float, handstand to the front of your mat. However you get there is perfect. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, figure seven shape, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, set the hips back, sweep the arms back, and then sweep the arms forward and up, chair pose. Inhale here. Exhale, reach the arms around behind you, interlace the fingers, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back, keep the bend in the knees. Feeling a nice shoulder opening here. Inhale, lift the heart. And then as you exhale, keep the hands interlaced, straighten through the legs, bend from the hips, forward fold, send the knuckles out away from the body. See if you can squeeze biceps towards one another. See if you can lift tailbone higher. Keep a micro bend in the knees here. Let the head hang heavy. Maybe shake the head. Yes. No. Just loosening up. And then undo the interlace of the fingers. Let the fingers sweep towards the floor. Interlace the hands one more time and let's roll up the wrists. One more time, one direction, and then the other. Inhale, halfway lift, figure seven. Exhale, plant the palms, step, hop, float, crow, back to a high plank, however you wanna get there. Exhale, heart leans forward over the wrists, then bend into the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, send it back, downward facing. Inhale here. And then with your next exhale, elbows lower towards the floor. Inhale, look forward between the palms and we're going to bring the heart and chest forward. Come onto the hands, elbows stay bent, meeting in a chaturanga. Inhale, push the floor away, high plank. Exhale, send it back down dog. We're gonna do five of those fun little flows. So drop the elbows. Heart pulls forward, landing in chaturanga. Toes stay in the same place. Press the floor away, high plank. Exhale, hips back, downward dog. Four more, elbows, heart forward, chaturanga. High plank, down dog, elbows, you got it. Chaturanga, press the floor away, down dog. Two more, elbows, chaturanga, breathing, press the floor away, down dog. Last one, elbows. Chaturanga, press the floor away, down dog, nice work. Inhale, sweep the right toes high. Exhale, drop the right heel in towards glutes, lift the right knee towards sky. And then let's take some big circles, nice and slow, really conscious and aware of what your body is doing. Taking circles in one direction and then switching them, taking them in the other. You got it. And then keeping the leg bent, let's look forward, square the hips to the earth, and we're gonna come all the way forward into a half frog. So hips lower, but right leg stays bent all the way out to the side. Inhale, lift the heart, and then exhale, gently lower the chest. Reach the left arm out like a T. And from here, we're gonna take this right foot and pick it all the way up and set it behind the hips and see if you can find the left hand with the right foot, taking a fun little twist. It's almost as if you're kicking the right foot into the left hand like a, like a supine dancer's pose. Inhale, lift the right arm high. Look up towards the right hand. Breathe, and maybe smile. You got this. 
then as you exhale right arm reaches long across the mat we roll back onto the belly kick the right leg straight and then bring the right leg down to the earth so your legs are in an l shape right hand and right foot meet so now we're in this funny l shape here and we're going to make it even funkier so we're going to take our left heel and bring the glute in towards heel towards bring the heel in towards glutes and then take your left hand wrap it around and see if you can catch hold of that back foot maybe this is enough but maybe you want to get extra funky and you kick left foot into left hand and lift the chest lift the heart coming into a funky bow pose inhale here exhale stay inhale with your next breath gently lower the left knee down undo the interlace of the hands bring both hands left and right in towards the rib cage and we're going to sweep the right toes around behind us inhale lifting up to an upward facing dog or cobra activate the glutes exhale hips back downward facing inhale here reset the breath reconnect with your intention and then sweep the left toes high bend into the left knee so that the foot comes towards the glutes and then let's make some big circles here with the knee one direction nice and slow and then the other direction just lubricating through that hip joint nice work yogis and then we're going to look forward bring the weight all the way forward keep that left leg bent and set it off to the side hips lower so we're in a funky half frog pose inhale lift the heart and exhale lower all the way down reach the right arm out to the side and this time we're going to pick the left knee up and set it all the way behind us grabbing hold of the left foot with the right hand kick that left foot into the right hand as much as possible and lift left arm high inhale here exhale maybe smile savor the moment it's a delicious one inhale here and then as you exhale reach left arm all the way out roll back onto the belly straighten through the left leg and set it off to the side meeting left hand so now we're in this funny laying l position and we're going to bend the right knee bringing right leg in towards glute then reach right arm around catch hold of right foot ankle wherever you can maybe you even use a strap that's awesome and from here maybe you stay or maybe you inhale lift the heart lift the chest kick the foot into the right hand nice work what a fun funky pose shrug shoulders away from the ears breathing deeply and then exhale lower the knee gently release the foot sweep both hands back in towards rib cage left toe sweep back inhale lift the chest maybe you lift the legs upward facing dog exhale downward facing now we'll take that same flow but we're going to add on some fun little transitions so inhale lift the right toes high and then as you exhale drop the right heel back we're going to bring the weight forward into the left hand tent the right fingertips and then pivot the left foot so that the right foot can come down and we'll enter wild thing right arm sweeps back and behind and maybe makes a big circle or two maybe you circle the other way once or twice and then from here moving towards a side plank pulling the right knee up towards the right elbow and then twisting all the way around onto left toes keeping the right knee in and settling down into that half frog inhale here exhale roll the heart forward left arm reaches out right toes scoop up and over reaching for left hand right arm reaches for the sky inhale here and then as you exhale right arm flattens to the earth belly flattens right leg straightens to meet right hand left leg bends left hand reaches back and we kick into that left hand lift the heart inhale here exhale lower the knee straighten through the left leg but keep the right leg out to the side bring the palms to the rib cage and bend into the left knee coming back to find a gate pose 
or maybe more like a three-legged tabletop. Inhale, reach the right arm high. And then as you exhale, thread the needle. Right arm comes underneath the left. Right leg is long. Right ear to the floor. Inhale, lift the left arm. And maybe you drop it behind back body, or maybe it stays extended to sky. Inhale here. Exhale, plant left palm, reach right arm back up towards sky. Inhale, reach. Exhale, plant right hand, sweep the right toes back behind, tuck onto the left toes and inhale, lift, three-legged dog. Keep the leg lifted. Exhale, roll it forward, three-legged plank. Lowering the elbows, three-legged chaturanga, and then flip onto the toes, upward facing. Exhale, send the hips high, downward facing dog. Beautiful work. Let's take that on the other side. Inhale, sweep the left toes high. Exhale, bend the left knee, dropping left heel towards the hips. And begin to tent the left fingertips, starting to pivot the right foot around, pivot the chest towards sky, drop the left toes. Wild thing. Lift hips, lift heart. Head can drop back. And begin to take some circles with the left arm, maybe once, maybe twice. Then maybe the opposite direction. Nice big shoulder joint lubrication. And then exhale, coming towards side plank, rotating onto the outside edge of left foot, reaching left arm high, left knee comes in. And then as you exhale, setting left hand down, but keeping the bend in the knee and lowering all the way down to that half frog. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower. Reach right arm out to the side. Kick left foot up and over until it meets right hand. And inhale, lift the left arm high. Breathing here. You got it. Exhale, left hand reaches long. Belly comes to the floor. Left leg straightens to meet left hand. Grabbing hold of left foot. Bending right knee and reaching right hand around to capture right foot. Then inhale, lift the chest. Kick the foot into the hand. Nice work. Exhale, lower that back leg. Bring both hands in towards chest. Keep left leg straight. We're gonna bend into the knee, slide left leg back nice and straight till we come into that funky tabletop. Inhale, lift the left arm. And exhale, thread the needle. Left shoulder comes down, left ear comes down. Really actively press into the left foot so that the leg stays active. Maybe you reach right arm high or drop it behind back body. Breathing, you got it. Inhale, lift the right arm if it's taken the bind and plant the right palm in front of the nose. Inhale, lift the left arm high. And as you exhale, plant left palm, tuck onto right toes, swing the left leg back behind you and then lift the right knee up three-legged downward dog. Inhale here, and as you exhale, begin to pull forward into that three-legged high plank. Exhale, heart forward, bend the elbows, three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart, upward facing. Exhale, send it back, downward facing dog. Inhale here. And as you exhale, let's bring the knees down. We'll add on just a little bit more. From here, tuck the toes under the hips. Child's pose, but we won't stay long. Inhale here. And as you exhale, sweep the right hand around to connect with right heel. Send hips forward. So we're in a one-armed camel pose. Hips forward, chest lifts. Inhale here. Exhale, sweep the arm forward, the left arm forward and around. Then plant it on the outside edge of the mat reaching right arm high. An option to bring right knee in, I'll turn towards you and show you, right knee in or maybe you grab hold of right toes and lengthen through the leg, okay? So if you're with me, we've got left hand down, right toes lifted, inhale here. And then as you exhale, gently press the right leg down, coming into a gate pose, exhale. Right arm crosses under, left arm crosses over. Folding towards that right leg. Inhale here. Exhale. 
palms come to the floor, tucking onto left toes and inhale, reach right toes high. Drop right heel in towards glutes and now you know where we're at. We're gonna drop back into a wild thing, right toes come down, hips and chest lift. Circle the arm one time and then one time in the opposite direction. And then we're coming towards that side plank, right knee pulls up and in towards chest, then right hand plants, right knee lowers. Exhale, hips down, half frog, lowering the heart. Left arm reaches out, right toes lift up and over, finding left hand, right hand reaches for the sky. Inhale here, and as you exhale, Maybe this time you kick the right foot up to the right hand, and as you roll over from the core, you bring both hand and foot together straight to the opposite side of the mat. Ooh, that's nice and juicy. Inhale here. As you exhale, left heel comes in, left hand wraps behind. Lift the chest, kick into the hand, that left foot. Exhale, lower. Sweeping the hands next to the chest and lifting back into that gate pose. Right arm lifts towards the sky. And as you exhale, it sweeps under, thread the needle. Stay here for just a moment. Inhaling, exhaling. And then as you inhale, right arm reaches back up towards the sky. Right hand plants, tuck the left toes and right leg sweeps up and around. Three-legged dog. Exhale from here, forward to your high plank, three legs or two if it feels right. Chaturanga, three legs or two. Lifting the heart. And then exhaling back to downward facing dog. Rolling it forward, coming onto the knees, child's pose. Only briefly take a moment. And then inhale, look forward. Circle the left hand around to connect with left foot. Right arm continues to circle. So we're in this funky one-armed camel pose. Reaching right arm back, lifting chest, sending hips forward. And then as you exhale, right arm sweeps all the way back around. Steps to the outside edge of the right hands and maybe you reach left arm high and just bring the left knee in towards chest. Or maybe you reach your peace fingers down and lift that left leg towards the sky, lifting hard as well. Inhale here. And then as you exhale, gently setting left leg off to the side, wrapping left arm underneath the belly, right arm goes up, gate pose, taking a fold. Inhale here, exhale, stay. Inhale, gently planting the palms in front of you, tucking the right toes under, lifting left leg back to a three-legged dog. Inhale here. Exhale, bend into the left leg, circling around, lifting the heart, lifting the hips, coming into a wild thing. One circle with the left arm, one circle with the right arm. And then bringing the weight over onto the side of the back foot, pulling the left knee in, side plank, planting left palm, and then lowering hips to the floor, landing in that half frog. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lower. Right arm reaches long, left leg lifts and reaches back for that right hand. Left arm reaches for the sky. Exhale, plant the palm. Oh, maybe this time you keep left arm lifted. You kick left foot all the way up till it meets left hand. And using the power of the core, you slowly lower to the earth. Coming into that funky T. Then bending right foot in towards glute, wrap right hand around. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest, kick the foot into the hand. Exhale, lower. Sweep the hands to the rib cage and send the hips back, keeping left leg straight. Inhale, left arm reaches for the sky. Exhale, thread the needle under the right arm. Stay for just a moment. Inhale, opening back up. And then as you exhale, plant the palms, tuck the toes, sweep left leg back and around, three-legged dog. Rolling it forward to a three-legged plank. Heart forward, bending into the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, lift. And exhale, send the hips back, downward facing dog. Good work, friends. From here, inhale, look forward. Step, hop, handstand, float, tiptoe. 
however you want to get to the front of the mat. I'll meet you there. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift the heart. Exhale, lower. Set the hips down, sweep the arms back and up. Chair pose. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the arms to parallel and come up onto the toes. Staying on the toes, let's lower the hips all the way down, then using hands or not using hands, we'll lower the hips to the earth and we'll all come to meet in a boat pose. Inhale here. Exhale, lower to your low boat. Inhale, lift. Let's do five. Exhale, lower, lift. You got it. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Two more. Lift, lower, lift. From there, lowering slowly all the way down to the back body, bringing right knee in towards chest. Roll out the ankle. Inhale here, and then as you exhale, dropping right leg over to the left side of the body, reaching left arm long and right arm long. And then bending left heel, that's your straight bottom leg, in towards the glute. We're gonna reach that right hand down and grab hold of the left foot. Lots of fun twists here in this practice. And maybe you use the left hand to give you some balance and stability by placing it on that right knee. This is called cattail. Inhale here. Exhale, stay. Your next inhale, let's roll all the way over onto the belly. You might roll off your mat, that's okay. Maybe you resituate yourself like I'm about to do or maybe not and you keep that right leg up to the side in that funny half frog. Here we are again. Inhale here and then as you exhale this time, let's scoop the right leg back so that it meets the body. We're going to bend both knees in towards our hips so that we have our feet nice and close to our glutes. And then we've been warming up really strongly for our shoulders and our hips. So we're gonna take a bow pose, okay? Now in this pose, you're going to reach right hand back to grab hold of the ankle. Maybe you're on the inside of the foot or the outside of the foot. Some teachers will tell you that there's a right or a wrong way to do this. I'm not one of those teachers. So do what feels right in your body in this moment. I will recommend but if you grab on the inside, that can help set you up a little better for later on flipping the grip, if that's something you're interested in. But today, we'll grab onto the right foot with the right hand, the left ankle with the left hand, and then kick the feet into the sky. As you inhale, use that breath to lift the heart. And then kicking, use that space to lift the chest. Nice work. Kick harder to lift the legs higher. Breathe harder or more calmly to stay here. Maybe you even take a little rock back and forth because that's really fun. And the point is to have fun in your body. See if you can press hips down into the floor. And then exhale gently, lower down. Lowering the belly, lowering the body. Nice work. Maybe take hands under hips and gently rock side to side. Just releasing the anything in the low back that built up. And let's go for one more. Just one. You can do it. So bending both knees so that the feet come in towards the hips. And maybe here, because you played with one grip the last time, you played with a different grip last time. Or maybe you flip the grip. Is that something that is in your practice? But wherever you are, inhale, exhale. As you inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest, kick the hand, feet into the hands. And then just breathe. Kick the feet a little harder. Lift the chest a little higher. And then when you're ready, gently exhale lower. Let the feet go long and gently rock the hips side to side, just releasing anything that's built up. Then let's take our left foot and bring it out to that funny half dog pose on the other side, okay? Now, maybe you can predict where we're going. But from here, we're going to 
Take the right arm, sweep it underneath the body. Left arm reaches for the sky, up and over, taking a reclined twist. Then let's pull the right knee in towards glute. Left hand reaches down, right hand comes to the top of left knee, and we take that cattail pose, seeing if you can spiral heart towards sky, shoulders towards mat. Breathing deeply. You got it. And then from here, gently releasing right foot, letting it go long, and rolling all the way onto back body, pulling left knee into chest. And then bringing right knee in to meet it. And gently taking some circles with the knees one direction and then the other. And since we've got all this beautiful opening in our bodies, we're gonna take a few rounds of bridge and wheel pose. So bringing the hips back to the center of the mat, if that's what you're feeling, and then bringing the heels close to the glutes. Let's tuck the chin slightly to lengthen out through the neck. And we're going to press the forearms and palms into the floor. Fingers sweep the ankles. And inhale, lift hips, lift heart towards sky. Squeeze the inner thighs together. If you have a block, you could even put that between your legs to squeeze them together. Maybe this is perfect. Or maybe you interlace the fingers behind you and walk the shoulders a little bit un more under the back body to find a little more space. Wherever you are. Press the arms down into the floor and lift the hips high. Make sure the neck stays neutral and chest is coming towards chin. So think about lifting your chest towards the chin as you lift your hips towards the sky. Same kind of motion as in wild thing or a wheel pose or even bow pose. Exhale gently, lower the hips down. We'll take one more round, and maybe that bridge pose is where you're at and where you'll stay. Or maybe you take your hands and you flip the fingers so that they point towards the shoulders. Elbows point up towards the sky. Squeeze elbows in towards one another. Activate the belly button towards the spine to really make sure that the abs are engaged. And then we're gonna lift hips and heart at the same time. Maybe you come to your head first, or maybe you press all the way up. Again, follow what feels good in your body and when you know what you know from your practice. Inhale all together. Then as you exhale, begin to press up. Maybe you come to head first and then find your balance and press yourself up. Lifting hips, lifting heart. And we'll stay for a few breaths. If you're in bridge hose, stay with us. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Lifting hips, sending heart towards the wall behind you. Letting head be nice and neutral. Maybe gripping the floor with fingertips if you're in wheel pose. Maybe you play with straightening one leg and then the other. Just seeing what that feels like in the body. Maybe you play with lifting one leg and the other or shifting your weight back and forth. It's your practice. Play with feel what feels good. And if you're with me in wheel pose, We'll gently come out of the pose by bending into the elbows. Maybe you set the top of the head gently down first, finding the floor. And then tuck the chin in towards chest, and then roll down the back body, gently landing all the way down on the tailbone. And no matter where you are, let's bring knees into chest, and gently take some circles one direction, and then the other direction. Now we've done lots of fun twisting in this practice. So if you'd like to take some twists, I'll invite you to do that now, or maybe you are ready to close down the practice. And I'll invite you first to bring the bottoms of the feet together, knees fall out to the side, hands come to the belly, closing down the eyes, taking this Supta Baddha Konasana, a bound angle reclining pose and just taking a few moments to recenter in the body, recenter in the breath, and maybe marvel at all the creative and funky movement that you did today. And maybe marvel at how present you were through it, how focused, 
how flexible in mind and body in encountering poses and transitions that you hadn't seen before. These are the lessons that asana, the physical practice of, of yoga, can teach us. And the goal is that you can take those lessons and transfer them to other parts of your life. Finding spaces to be more flexible, more open-minded. And wherever you are, I invite you to move towards Shavasana by bringing heels as wide as the mat. Wiggling around until you feel nice and long and extended, reaching arms out to the side, palms face up, take up space. Taking a big breath in, and maybe one big sigh out the mouth, let it all go. Just feel how good that feels to truly release. Let the earth hold you. Let the body become heavy. Really lean into this moment of connection with space, time, presence. We only get so many of these moments in a day. So I hope that you take this one in fully. And then if you're ready to become present in the world we live in again, begin by taking a deep breath and then wiggling fingers and toes and gently rocking the ankles and wrists side to side. Maybe taking a big full stop body stretch, reaching hands overhead, toes point down. Inhale, and then as you exhale, rolling onto one side of the body, cradling the head and the arms, knees come in towards chest, in that fetal position, ready for rebirth into this moment. And then slowly and with intention, rising back up to a seated position, like where we began our practice. Inhale, lengthening through the spine, tucking the chin, feeling that strong back and soft front, capable but flexible, strong but kind. Maybe bringing hands to heart center, reflecting upon what you take with you from this practice into the world beyond. Thank you for sharing this practice with me today. The highest in me bows to the highest in you. Namaste. Thank you, friends, and I hope to see you here again soon. Have a beautiful day, night, week, wherever you are, however you are. Ciao.